My name is William Robert Rutledge. I am a student at Georgia Northwestern Technical College and I am studying in the Drafting Technology Program and I am a recipient of the GNTC Foundation Scholarship Award. I was um, born and raised in Chattanooga. My father was a postman and my mother was a homemaker. My father and I got involved in go-kart racing. About the time I just started high school, he passed. Um, that's when I turned to drugs and alcohol. You know, I had a rough go of it through high school and then um, ended up working for a man in Chattanooga who owned one of the nation's best known racing go-kart shop in the, in the nation. And he wanted me to go to machine shop school. I did. I learned a machine shop trade. And the whole time I was a functioning, you know, drug and drug addict and alcoholic. My lowest point was at the day of my arrest. I, it ended after a high-speed chase and it involved multiple um, law enforcement agencies and a helicopter. And, and um, as the officers are approaching me with their nine millimeters pointed at me, screaming at me to put the pipe down, put the pipe down, I was trying to get my last hit of crack cocaine. And once they took me down, then it was all over. In the beginning of my incarceration, uh, my intention was to stay high. It's just one day it happened, someone asked me if I wanted to get high, and I said, sure. And we got high and I sat down in front of the TV. I started thinking about my mama and her house and walking barefoot on a carpet and sitting on her couch. And I just, it's like it hit me. I saw the concrete and steel for the first time and I realized that I would probably never see my mom again like that. And, um, you know, I got straight up and I went to my cell shut the door, got on my knees, and I begged God to give me the strength to never use an illegal substance as long as I live. And I got up off my knees, and I'm still sober to this day. Not long after this, I was transferred to a prison that had a metal fabrication facility, and it was when I got assigned to a work detail at the metal fabrication plant, having a machinist background, I, um, I started remembering who I am. It was my work detail at Georgia Correctional Industries that gave me purpose. It gave me a schedule. It gave me motivation to learn new things in the metal fabrication trade. Once I got to a, a point in my incarceration where I was um, uh, sent to a transitional center to transition out of my incarceration, um, I was uh, actually, you know, sent. I had a work detail at Georgia Correctional Industries. Um, I was asked to uh, be involved in a project to design a reception desk for the governor's office. And um, really, I was excited about that and got all the assembly drawings done, got it sent out. You know, the end of my time came and I was released from prison. Once I was released, the uh, Georgia Correctional Industries allowed me to apply for a job and I was hired. And now I work for the state um, through, with Georgia Correctional Industries. The reception desk was uh, was completed and I was able to drive down and um, witness and be on site when the desk that I designed was assembled on site in the governor's office. Within a few months there I was um, an inmate to an employee of Georgia Correctional Industries and standing in the governor's office with a desk that I designed. That was pretty awesome. I got a, a taste for education while I was incarcerated, um, you know, learning math and things there, and I, I decided I wanted to pursue my education. Now, you know, once I got out, I started uh, going to GNTC and decided I wanted to get a degree in drafting technology. My drafting teacher, Corey Allen, has just been a huge help. And um, I mean, I've learned so much from him and with different programs for drafting. Uh, I was so happy and relieved once I received uh, my GNTC scholarship. I mean, the, the money just helps take the burden off of, you know, trying to pay for school. So it's been great, great experience. It's, just, it's hard to believe that I, I very possible that uh, I will have a college degree. It's, it's um, working on my associate's associate degree and um, should graduate next year and that's just amazing to me I, you know I never thought that you know all these years later uh, I may have a college degree